there's a few things that every Lions fan knows. It's ingrained in our DNA. One of those that is that since the realignment in 2002, we have never won the NFC North. Well, you can check that box off. Also, Ford Field never hosted a playoff game. You can check that box off. By the way, ticket prices, crazy, crazy. So it's going to be a lot of people in the building probably standing. Now, here are a few things you may not know. We are the only NFC team to never appear in the Super Bowl. We are also the only original team to not appear in the Super Bowl. So that's a monkey we have to get off our back. And again, when we make it, we're going to get another two monkeys off our back. The other three teams are the Cleveland Browns, who were relocated and then brought back to Cleveland as a new team. So they don't count anymore as an OG team. The Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. So the Lions have, they got some, some things done and they got a lot more to go. And Dan Campbell was dropping gems today. He was talking about uh, the biggest competition this week is the fact that it's complacency, that the team gets complacent, they're coming off this win, and they, they're not focused on the task at hand, which is the Dallas Cowboys, right? And he was just dropping some bars today. Another one was a lot of Lions fans say that we're ahead of schedule. We were sitting at nine wins and nine and three, nine and four. And my I hated this argument that we're ahead of schedule. And according to Dad, uh, Dad Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, we are at least right on schedule. He said that in year three, they wanted to win the division. Mission accomplished. It's not over by any means, but mission accomplished. He said they could have done it in year two, but everything needed to be perfect. So everyone's saying we're ahead of schedule. That's not what coach and GM think, okay? So at least I know that they want more because it seems like the Lions fans are complacent. They are like, yo, we got this with this division title. We can rest. The year is complete. And and that is not how your team feels at all. For me, a I'm gonna cut them a little bit of slack because this was my standard. 12 and 5 after starting 8 and 2. All right. Division title, one playoff win. Now I could say, okay, it was a successful season. But I'm gonna cut them some slack because it's not how you start, it's how you finished. So if the Lions wind up 11-6, and six, which means that they would have to drop their last two games, but they still win that first playoff game, having already won the division, I'm going to cut them some slack, right? But I still want to go, if we finish 11-6, and six, that means we went in with a 3-4 and four record, and I would much rather be a 4-3, and three because we know what happens if you go into the playoffs and you don't have winning momentum. But Dan Campbell dropping bars, hopefully all the Lions fans are paying attention. But check this out. I wanted to show you guys that, first of all, the NFL, the NFL website took forever to upload. Uh, yesterday, we were number two. Then the Eagles won. We went to number three. Then I woke up this morning. We were still number, th still number three. Now we're up to number two. And I want to say that um, the Detroit Lions have the tiebreaker over the Philadelphia Eagles if they went out. Yes, everybody was right. I knew that already, but I had driven home 11 hours. I was tired, man, but I had I didn't really think about it at the time because I was tired. I watched the game and made a video, but you are right. If the Lions went out, then they will have the number two seed. So they need some help to get the number one, but they can win out and get the number two. But I was trying to see. We know what it takes for number one. We know what it takes to guarantee number two. But is there a scenario that the Detroit Lions could lose one of their next two games and get in to the playoffs as the number two seed? And I'm here to tell you that, yes, there is. Now, there might be more than one scenario, but this is the scenario that I came up with according to the NFL playoff machine. Now, week 16 is over. It doesn't officially bump off the list until tomorrow. Every Wednesday, it resets. This will disappear, and these will be this the two weeks left. Here is a scenario. It might not be the only one, but this is the scenario that the Detroit Lions can wind up losing one of the next two games and making it in the playoffs as the number two seed. The Lions, if they lose to the Dallas Cowboys, that means that we would need an upset for the Cardinals to upset the Eagles in week 17. All right. You can see here that the San Francisco 49ers are beating the commanders, but, and we still have the number two seed. Now here's where it gets here. We would need an upset to beat the Vikings. First of all, and an upset over the giants to beat the Philadelphia Eagles for us to have the number two seed. If we go back here to let's let's make the Eagles beat the Giants. 
Then the Giants, now the Eagles have the number two seed. If we go to week, you see how, how we went back to week 17, you see the Cardinals have still beat. So we would need to have the number two seed if we lose. We need the Philadelphia Eagles to lose both of their remaining games in order for us to be the number two seed. OK, if the Eagles win one of those games, we now lose that seeding. All right. So we, we know what it takes to get the number one. But if we lose against the Dallas Cowboys, we would need the Philadelphia Eagles to drop both of their games and we would have to win at least one. Now, let's say we. Because I want to see this, let's say we beat the Dallas Cowboys. All right. But we lose to the Minnesota Vikings then we still stay the same, okay? We still stay the same. So there is a scenario, again, that if we lose against the Dallas Cowboys, the Eagles must drop both of their games to have the number two seed, okay? So if the Eagles win, if we lose and the Eagles win, then we go to week 17. We beat the Minnesota Vikings. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's say if they win this game, or let's say they beat the Cardinals, but they lose to the Giants. We are still the number three seed. So again, we need, with a loss against the Dallas Cowboys, we would need the Eagles to lose two of their, both of their remaining games. And as you can see, the way that I had it up, the Green Bay Packers would come to the the city of Detroit. Now, there's a lot of different things that can happen, of course, as a fanalist, I get to talk about this stuff. Dan Campbell's job is to have them focus on the Dallas Cowboys. And the Detroit Lions have a lot that they're trying to, they're going up against a lot. They're going up against Jerry World, which means the crowd, which means the refs, okay? They've been <laughs> they've been able to overcome, meaning the Detroit Lions, a lot of bad calls. Uh, it was some yesterday, too, on both sides of the ball. But they've been able to overcome some bad calls. They've got the crowd. They've also got the, the memory of what happened there last year when Jamal Williams fumbled. Lions were going to go up 13 to 10. They fumbled. And the, the score really blew up, but it was it was close for most of the game. And then the, the near the end, the team just fell apart. So while we're focusing on winning this, this game against the Dallas Cowboys, a loss here is not the end of the world for the number two seed. And the number two seed is a big deal because it guarantees that your first two games – the wild card and divisional round will be at your place. The only team, only time you would have to travel is if you had to go play the number one seed. There's literally one seed ahead of you. So if the number one seed, which is the San Francisco 49ers, they are off, right? And let's say they play, they're going to play the lower remaining seed. So that means they're going to play seven, six, five, or I'm sorry, seven, six, five, or four. I did say it right. Of course, we would have to win <laughs> at seed number two for not for for that not to happen. So let's say let's say we end with number two, and we beat the Green Bay Packers. They would have to play uh, either seeds four, five, or six, right? And then if they lost, if they got upset by either the Eagles, Buc Buccaneers, or Seahawks, then guess who comes to Detroit for the uh, wild card game? We host a team, right? So the Detroit Lions are still playing for something, even with the loss against the Dallas Cowboys, which I'm not saying they're going to do. I'm not even conceding defeat because I think that if any team has a chance to do this, then the Detroit Lions have a chance to do it. We still have a chance to get the second seed. So a lot riding on this game, but it's not the end of the world. But we are guaranteed to have that third seed no matter what. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe that the Lions have had a successful season for you? Okay. And also, what do you think is going to happen this Saturday? It's a Saturday night game against the Dallas Cowboys at 815. It's really a Monday night game. But this last night was, I believe, the last Monday night game. There is no Monday night game in week 17. They moved, there usually is, but they moved it to Saturday. So this is our last like full weekend of, of football. And then for week 18, everything is going to happen on Sunday. And that's going to be a doozy depending on how they match these things up. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.